morning lovies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is terry ann this is terry ann vlogs is it terry ann vlogs or is it terry vlogs you're on my channel <laughs> go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button and let's get into the video today it is about 8 a.m um and i'm awake with makeup on and like a top on and pajama shorts because I have a phone call, like a meeting uh, this morning and it's, it has to be like on video. I have to do like a video chat. So that's really annoying. Look at how pretty my apartment is like during the daytime because I love mornings in my apartment. Just like, look how sun soaked it is. Oh yeah, beautiful, all the light. I love beautiful, bright apartments, and my apartment always looks so good with all the windows. It always looks so good in the mornings and at sunset. I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, so yeah, I have a meeting, and I have a meeting in about an hour. So um, I'm up and I'm ready. I'm about to feed these cats, and I'm gonna start cleaning up downstairs really quick. Um, I have a lot to do today, randomly. Um, so I'm gonna do this meeting, clean up my apartment as quickly as I can and then head out today. Um, one thing that was really exciting for me is that I won a contest on Instagram. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Um, but I follow the jewelry store that Mike bought my engagement ring from. Oh my God, I'm not even wearing my ring. I have to put it on. Um, and I'm following them on Instagram and they did a giveaway and I entered just randomly and I won. So I won a pair of like, you could like pick whichever piece of jewelry from their website that you wanted. So I picked some really nice earrings and um, uh, it's ready to be picked up. So I'm going to go pick them up today. Um, and then while I'm in that area, I'm gonna, I think, look for a Christmas gift for my nephew. He's the last person that I need to get a gift for. Those earrings though that I won, um, they're gonna be part of my mom's Christmas gift actually. They're really expensive, they're so nice. Um, and she has two other gifts for me as well. But when I got the earrings, I was like, my mom would really like these and so I'm gonna get them to her. There's been a lot of exciting things happening recently that I can't actually wait to tell you guys about. I, I can't really get into anything right now because I've signed an NDA. So uh, legally, I can't talk about what I'm doing. But today's meeting, it's in per like not in person, it's over video chat and I cannot wait. I think I'll be able to tell you guys about it in the end of January or like February, so. But super exciting things happening, which is why I'm here. And I like, I do wanna say one thing. And I think it's like a tip for all female entrepreneurs or like women of color entrepreneurs, especially when I first started blogging and started asking for money or realizing that I could get paid opportunities, I didn't question the number that they gave me. And that's, I'm saying that as a person with legal training, like I went to law school, I'm a lawyer, I literally negotiate contracts for a living. And I didn't do that because for whatever reason, I just thought like I didn't deserve a higher number. I was just like, I am just lucky to get this deal. Um, and that's not the case. So recently, more recently, I've been um, pushing back. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in the place where I don't really have anything to lose. I already work a job, you know, like I make a salary. So if I push back on a brand and ask for more money and they totally walk away from the deal, then that's on them and I'm not gonna starve, you know? <laughs> but uh, but that's not the case. Like every time I push back, they give me more money or they give me whatever it is that I'm looking for. Um, and I think you just need to be more assertive you know, for yourself uh, and know what you're worth and what your time is worth and what your skills are worth. Um, and I guarantee you that it's worth more than their first offer. So always negotiate. Even I'm, and I'm, I've taken that from just my blog to literally my job. Um, and I have like 
made job moves that have allowed me to increase my salary by like 35 grand in a single year and that's just because i like demand more i'm just like what like i ask questions i'm like what's the range what do you typically pay and then i ask for more than that and it's a it's it's aggressive and i always feel uncomfortable doing it but i remember when i first started to change one of my jobs I like set a number on the phone to a company that I was thinking about and Mike was home because we both work from home sometimes and um, he was just like wow you like undersold yourself and I was just like I'm never doing that again like <laughs> I really did and I was just like you know what you're right and it was because I was afraid to ask for more I was afraid if I asked for a certain amount that they wouldn't want to give me the job or they like would stop you know wanting to talk to me and that's never been the case like I'm, I'm thinking about it and it just is not the case every time I ask for more they say we can work with that they say um, you know let me get back to you let us see what we can do and my thing the one trick is ask for like have a number in your head that you would be super happy with and then ask for like 5,000 more than that and then if they can't do that 5,000 more they tend to fall into the range where you would be super happy and that's kind of like how I work it um, to get what I want and it has been working and things are looking up you guys <laughs> um, so yeah anyways I am going to feed my cats and uh, quickly get ready for this conference call and yeah I will see you guys soon it's 10 o'clock now I just got off the call it was really good it went really well um, my cat crashed it, Lou walked through and everyone was just like, why is your cat there? So that was weird, but I'm gonna hurry up, clean up downstairs now and get my day started. My plan was to take a nap, but um, I'm awake now, so here we are. I'm gonna go clean up the kitchen because Mike made a mess in the kitchen, as always. Love you, Mikey. Okay, so I am getting ready to head out. It's much later now. Don't know if you guys can tell, I am so tired. I did not sleep well last night. I woke up at like, I woke up at like midnight last night and didn't go back to sleep until like 4.30. So, and then I woke up early for that call because I had to get ready to and so. I am super tired, but at the same time, I like, can't sleep. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I am so tired, but I, I tried to take a little nap and I just, my mind is like racing. Like I have so much to do, so I just can't fall asleep. So I just was just like, you know what? If I sit here trying to fall asleep all day, I'm not gonna fall asleep and I'm gonna end up not doing anything all day. And I'm just gonna be, sorry, I'm trying to open this. I'm open this down. Yeah, so I just decided that if I spend all day trying to fall asleep in order to feel rested so that I have the energy to do things today, I'm just not gonna get anything done because for whatever reason, I still can't fall asleep. So I just decided to skip the nap and um, get my day started. So I'm going to make myself some coffee at home because I, I, I spend so much on coffee other places and I have a Keurig here and I have Starbucks coffee so I should just make it at home. So I'm going to make myself a warm coffee so that I can kind of get some energy. I had a Mountain Dew and it's not doing anything. I'm still so tired but I can't sleep. It's so annoying. Um, I'm going to make myself this coffee and then head out to pick up the jewelry because uh, I have a meeting with a person at the store. and run errands, I guess, so let me, oh my god, I have this too. Does this fit in here? Am I gonna have to make two cups? Mm -hmm. This one's so smaller that I think I might have to make two cups. Let's see. I haven't used my new coffee maker to, uh, that's too much, to fill up one of these Yeti containers yet. Yeah, I've only used it for the mugs, so I might have to travel mug. That makes sense. Okay, I 
might have to. Do two of these. That'll be intense. This is the look. I forgot it snowed. <laughs> I don't even know if I have one of those snow scrapers. This is why I like I hate New England. Like honestly, it's so annoying. I don't even know if I have a snow scraper. No, I'm Jamaican. I only have a machete. Why do I have a machete and not a snow scraper? Why? Why do I have a machete and not a snow scraper? Like. This is the most Jamaican thing I've ever done. Uh, I don't have a snow scraper. I'm out here with a machete. And I'm just... Oh man. This is not the best. I am so upset. Why do I have a snow scraper? This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Like, I'm embarrassing myself in front of myself. There's not even anyone here. Okay, so I cleaned my car off with the machete. So, that was an adventure. <laughs> and it makes me super happy that I actually brought hot coffee with me because I'm now freezing cold. But I am right. Oh my god, it's only 29 degrees outside. Huh. Anyways, I'm now ready to head to the jewelry store. So I'm gonna head out there and maybe pick up a snow scraper while I'm out because that can never happen again. Ever. Okay, and we have arrived to Barmakian. This is where Mike got me my engagement ring, except for it was not in this state, he got it in a different state but this is their other location, so. I'm just going to run inside and pick up the um, gift for my mom, and I'm not gonna bring my camera in, because I think it's kinda... <laughs> um, I think it's gonna uh, just be weird to bring a camera into a really aggressive jewelry store, so I won't do that, but I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm vlogging, vlogging on my phone now because I got to the jewelry store like I showed you when I was in the car and I got out of the car to go into the jewelry store and I closed the door and like I put my hands in my pocket and I didn't feel my keys and I looked in my car and my keys were in my car and I went to open the door and the door wouldn't open and typically like my car doesn't just like lock, it basically has like a fob on it where like if the fob is in the car the car just won't lock and it'll beep to tell me but I guess the fob broke or not broke it it died like the battery died and so my door is locked and so now I'm stuck outside so I was like kind of hopeful I was like you know what I'll just go into the jewelry store by the time I get out because I just used the fob so I was like by the time I get out like maybe it'll like spark on or something and I'll be able to like hit the button and the doors will unlock but I got out of the jewelry store and <laughs> no no that's not the case and I don't have my ring because like the jewelry store that my ring was like a little bit too big so they sized it and they're cleaning it and they're fixing a stone a diamond in it that like got loose and so I have to my ring, my ring won't be ready for like another couple of hours. So then I called AAA using Mike's account and then they were like, they're not sending AAA to me because I wasn't on Mike's account. So then I called Mike and then Mike had to add me to his account and now they're coming and they're saying it's gonna take another 45 minutes for them to get here and unlock my car. So <laughs> I'm having a nervous breakdown and it's cold and I'm dying and so I called my dad and then my dad was like, I'm in Connecticut, I can't do anything, you need to grow up. And now I'm outside in the cold with no gloves, a machete in a car that people are about to come to. And um, yeah, this is uh, this day is devolving into something else. Just 
just something else and I was just gonna run into the jewelry store really quick so I left my camera in the car because I said I didn't want to bring a camera into the jewelry store and so now also my camera is in the car and my hot coffee is definitely cold now and I am colder than I have ever been and I am not even gonna go shopping after this I am just gonna thaw out in my car oh my god and now there's only 20% left of my battery on my phone which means I'm gonna be phoneless carless homeless ringless but at least I have $500 earrings on me like man I just I don't know okay good news is that triple a is sending me text updates and they told me 45 minutes but that was like five minutes ago and now they're saying they're gonna be here in like five minutes I think it's because like I'm in a really busy populated area so hopefully I won't be cold for much longer it's probably only gonna be five more minutes this has never happened to me before in my life like I've never run out of gas I've never locked myself out I have gotten one flat tire once before but like these things don't typically happen to me especially since my keys typically work oh my god okay so <laughs> gonna get a new battery for my fob learned my lesson this is uh kind of a shit show but at least I don't have to wait too long so uh, here's the hoping they get here because I can't wait much longer and my fingers are so numb <laughs> Hey, so I got back into my car, obviously, and um, since I dropped off my <laughs> ring at the jeweler, when I got there, one of the stones was loose, and um, my ring was sized at a four and a quarter, and they said it was too big. It was like swiveling around my finger, so they also wanted to resize it down to a size four. Um, so. Uh, I have like another 45 minutes before it should be ready for pickup. So I already went into Home Sense and looked around. It kind of pushed me in the direction to finish up the kitchen, like remodel <laughs> that I've been doing. There was just like some things that I was going to order online that were in the store. And I'm glad I saw them in the store because I don't like the way they look in person. So I found one in the store, like I'm thinking about, uh, I'm talking about backsplash for behind, for the walls behind the countertops and stuff. And uh, I was gonna go with the herringbone one that is Car Carrera, so it looks like marble herringbone, but it looks really ugly in person. And so I saw one c uh, container of the hexagonal backsplash and it looks a lot better in person but there was only one pack so I'm gonna go on Amazon and order about five packs maybe six um, to do all the walls that I'm thinking of we'll see and uh, and get that done um, so at least the kitchen will look a little bit cuter um, especially since we're gonna have guests over for New Year's Eve so but I'm gonna kill some time. I'm not really hungry, but I'm by Chick-fil-A, so I might get Chick-fil-A. Uh, but we'll see. Glad to be back in my car, though.